So this is how you install the toddler rail and keep the drawers on the Oslo crib. Now the Oslo crib is actually unique because it's a crib that comes with two drawers on the bottom. I took the drawers out. When you take off the main rail for the crib portion, you have to take this off and replace it with the toddler rail. Now there's two nubs there and a screw hole and this anchors the the sliding mechanism on that draw so the draws actually slide on these anchors there one on each side so you have the one there and the one in the middle so there's like a dual thing so when the draws go in there they go on the opposite sides of there and there's one there and the draws go under the bed and even if you lower the the crib to the toddler bed you lower it there's still space for the drawers and it's very useful to have the drawers under the crib bed because you can store blankets and stuff like that because babies usually come with a lot of stuff when you have them so what I did was first of all there is a big thing that's there I'm actually gonna so magic so this appeared so when you buy the toddler rail it comes with this sheet over the part where the drawers go in under there now what it is these this sheet it's a thin piece of wood it's these little screws you just take them out all around the edges and when you do that just put them in that cup there's a lot of screws they come out real easy they're short screws so the bedroom is a mess so once you take those screws out you could just pop this plank off there it just comes right out and you're not going to use this again. This is just like really thin there. Let's just put that over there. And what I did was, what you want to do is to keep the drawers, there is usually two nubs there, like a guiding wooden um, pegs, two pegs. Just knock those off because they don't come out. Because once you push those in, especially if you've been using the crib for about a couple of months to a year, they're going to sort of expand from moisture and get stuck in there. So what I did was I just sawed that off. I'm going to keep that because that's what's going to uh, anchor the, the draw rail to the crib. And you just measure this. It's about an inch up and 14 inches from there here to here. So I just use a bit of coordinates to match it up to find the hole. So this is the original... Um, crib rail and this is a toddler rail so I'm not going to use these two nubs I'm just going to use this anchor screw on a new toddler rail so when I go to put this back on everything's sort of lined up there and I'm just going to just demonstrate real quick so so that's what's going to happen so we put the matras in there and the drawers are going to go on this side and that side so I'm just going to pause it finish it and resume this video so as you see there this was screwed on right there that's what I mean about the not sure if it comes out in the video but that's the screw there and that's the hole that you're gonna use that's the hole you drill onto this or even if you don't have a power drill you could just screw that screw in some a pointed screw to screw that right into the wood the wood is actually very very easy to use and that is the toddler rail with the space open there to keep the draw so I'm gonna just um, I'm doing this it's kind of candidly I'm not even seeing if this works and if it does so you see there so it's a bit of space there so that's the first draw in and then what you're gonna do is, is see all this crap when you have babies you just have a lot of stuff so I didn't even empty this draw from from when I took it out. So we're just gonna put this other side in there, and we move back. So these drawers are very useful, I find. So it's not going in because it's not no rail on that side. And this is kind of tricky to do while holding the. I'm gonna just pause it and get that drawing. It's not going in. And there, 
uh, it's very tight but you don't really change anything from the original crib rail with the opening there there's nothing really changed it's the same dimensions it's just that this is just naturally tight so you have the sliding drawers there and that's stuck and the reason this is probably sticking is I did not finish um, bolting the toggle rail on there so I'm gonna finish up but that is how you sort of keep the toddler rail and the drawers at the same time in a Karen Dubois, Carla Dubois, Oslo, Copenhagen crib slash toddler, toddler rail combination. And actually before I finish, that's the mattress that goes on there. When you order the toddler rail, for some reason that's what it looks like. So the crib setup is similar. It's just this. It's basically putting the rails on and stuff like that. But when you get the toddler rail, conversion, conversion rail, the first thing in directions, the first, the number one thing to do is remove the drawers. And there's no mention of what to do with the drawer. And I actually had to Google it and I realized the toddler rail, that board, it deletes the two drawers on the bottom, even though the space is kind of still there. There's no space, there's no um, opening for the drawers, but I kind of wanted to keep the drawers because we found the drawers to be useful. And, we, you know, the mattress will go on top of that uh, when when all is said and done. I think maybe I could probably put the mattress on there. Just give you guys an idea of how, how this all looks. So, that's what it looks like with the mattress on there. And uh, there's nowhere in line that I could find that I found instructions for keeping the drawers with the toddler rail but when I opened up the box and I did realize that this thin panel and this is my daughter hey baby daddy's doing a YouTube video yeah I know candy you got candy so <laughs> that's how we kept the uh, drawers because we find the drawers useful even though we don't use them daily we just use them for storing stuff long term and um, hopefully uh, she'll like it right Amelia Amelia she seems to like it, so that's going to be her bet. <laughs> Bye, guys.